So for this course, we're going to use Codio um, for two purposes. Um, one purpose will be as, um, as a supplement to your textbook, and the second purpose would be to submit assignments. Um, so Codio is, uh, is a platform that really is, for, for the student, is a virtual um, desktop. It's a virtual environment. Um, what this means is that uh, whenever you go into Codio, you have essentially a computer up in the cloud that you can use. Now, for example, if I were to pull up a terminal window, um, you'll see that there's this Ubuntu slash Linux. Um, Ubuntu is the flavor of Linux. And you can run things from here. Um, for example, ls is a list of the files that are uh, available in that uh, particular directory. And if I do something like an ls minus a, for example, that might list all. And that includes the hidden files as indicated by the dots. Um, if there's a dot in front of a file name, that indicates that it's hidden. So we just have two hidden, all well, three actually. I think it's the dot .codio, dot .guides, and dot .settings. Um, and these two other uh, dots don't, aren't, aren't files. <clears throat> now, if I do an ls minus al, um, it will give me a long listing. It will give you information about the file as far as whether or not it's a directory as seen by a D and whether or not you can read or write or execute it and, and who has permissions at what level. Um, so you can change and uh, like essentially provide a hierarchy of permissions um, from an administrator all the way down to the user. Um, so now, I, what I will often do is set this up, Codio, so that as you kind of progress through, right, I'm going to go to the next page. This one is build a point class. The next page is eight, the SWC, Southwestern College student class. And then go to the next page, array of televisions. So as you go through this though, um, occasionally a file will appear, appear over here. Now, in the conversation over here on the right, this one says build a point class. It says in this module, we'll develop a simple class to represent x, y coordinate pairs um, of integer. And then you'll see that there's something that says private int x and private int y. It's just giving you some information about the instance variables that are within this point class. And then it tells you just further, you know, goes into this code and talks about the constructor and so forth. Now, <clears throat> I have a couple of ways of compiling this code. Codio makes this easy for us. If I just simply hit compile code, hopefully this compiles. It says command was successful or success, uh, successfully executed. Now, if I hit run code, it should run it. So I think it ran it and it looks like P1 or point 0.1 was instantiated with uh, values 5 and 7. Point 0.2 was instantiated with values 3 and 9. Let's see if that's consistent with what we have in our main. So we do see a 5 here and a 7 here. So what if I change that 5 to the points um, 33 and 44? Now, let's first do run code. And notice it should give me the same answer. Let's see. I 33 and 44. So I think this is set. Yeah, I'm compiling it and then running it. So um, it did change the value from the 5, 7 to 33, 44. Um, what's hidden underneath here, which you didn't see, is that it was compiled and then uh, um, and subsequently run. Let me show you what just a quick kind of feel for what's going on. Underneath this is um, the markdown language. So over here on the left, is the markdown language that's used to create uh, your learning material, your resource, right? And so that's there. And then over here, you'll see that this is telling um, Codio 
this environment to display private int x, private int y as code. Over here, you'll have the code um, shown and it'll be uh, color coded. And so you'll see that, for example, when we look at uh, lines 28 through, or to, let's call it 29 and 30, it's color coded over here on the left, but you'll also, you'll also see it over here on the right. Um, now, as we go further down, let's get to the point where we're running code. What you usually don't see as the user is that there's something here, like this compile code, that's something that I type in. It could be anything. It's just a message to tell you what's going over here, going on here in parentheses. Notice that it says Java C, as in compile, um, and then it tells um, the compiler where to find the code. So it says in the directory CODE, in the directory INTRO, and then there's a file called point.java. Um, go ahead and compile that. And then over here, when I run, um, you know, when I do the Java code intro point.java, it's actually just simply running the code. Now I do that uh, in this right view, the view that you see, I do that so that uh, it's easier just to start interacting with the code immediately. Um, so that's what's happening behind the scenes. And the alternative, and that's as an alternative to having you go to the command line um, and then having to go to the code directory. And then, um, and remember that was in intro. And let's do an ls, see where we are. We have point, I'm going to clear this. C L E A R. And then there is uh, the file point.java. What you could do from the command line is Java C, compile it. Um, it's the compile um, command. And then point.java. It should compile it. Um, notice that the previous point class was August the 23rd, and uh, you'll see this time here at 0130, I think that's in GMT or the time in the UK. Um, and if I do another list, it should be a few minutes later, so 133, so it's just a couple of minutes later. So it did compile. Instead of you, you know, your, instead of you being required to do this, I've made it a little bit easier by working with a guide. Um, so let me go back to preview. So I work behind the scenes um, to create this document using Markdown. And what you can do then is just simply take the document on the left, hit compile, and it compiles it and runs it. So that's an introduction to the environment of Codeo.